This channel is proudly sponsored by The Red Room Publishing. Please check out the link to their store for exclusive tabletop RPG products. They have recently released The Darker RPG, a tabletop role-playing game of supernatural and existential horror. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring the array of champions core rules. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this super-powered fantasy role-playing game, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to continue with the different species, starting with the dwarves. Their signature ability is Dwarven Craftsmanship. Dwarves begin play with a weapon they forge themselves. This weapon deals one additional damage when performing a strike action. Dwarves may craft new weapons spending one month of work on the weapon. The damage bonus for this weapon and the craftsmanship in general increases as the dwarf grows in power. Then you have other things such as Mountain Navigator. A dwarf can always retrace their steps in any cave, dungeon or mountain. There are other more magical things such as Ancestor Spirit. The dwarf may summon the aid of an ancestor. Place a dwarf of the same level and basic class, but of any path within the basic class, as the dwarf within 5 feet. The ancestor spirit lasts until slain or combat ends. Ancestor spirit may only be performed once per week. And you have more mundane things such as War Pig. The dwarf gains a loyal boar mount with a 60 feet movement speed. Next we have the Elementals, with the signature ability of Plain Denizen. You select an element from fire, shock, water, acid or ice. The elemental heals rather than taking damage from that specific element, and their unarmed strikes may deal damage of that element. These elemental features grow in power as the elemental levels up. You also have things such as Unconventional Body. Enemies who succeed at melee strike actions against the elemental take one damage of the elemental's element for every three elemental levels. You also have things such as regeneration. At the start of each combat round, the elemental regains one fate point. Regeneration is disabled if the elemental is knocked unconscious or slain. And depending on your element, you can do things such as allow your allies to walk on water if your element is water. You could also heal using water. You can also create explosions of acid, cones of fire, shoot lightning from your body, or freeze your enemies. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to continue taking a look at the species. When it comes to the dwarves, I like their connection to the ancestors and their craft. And concerning the elementals, I think there is a lot of versatility when it comes to choosing a particular element for your elemental. A fire elemental is going to work quite different when compared to the water elemental. Because water focuses a bit more on healing, while the fire elemental is all about offense. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or DriveThruRPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham L. Jaguar, a professional game master. At the moment I am unavailable to run professional sessions because I am handling business out of town. But I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, in tabletop RPGs you are not telling stories about your characters, you are experiencing the game world as your characters. Once again, thank you and see you later.